Hello traders, in this end of week summary video, we're going to look at my weekly trades, 100% audited, uh, 21 trades, 255 pips, drawdown, profit factor. You're going to have to learn very quickly. Single screenshots of trades are meaningless. They don't tell you anything. If you want to get anywhere in this game, you need to have a look at a basket of trades. And then we're going to move on to institutional analysis in landscape mode. And then just a reminder, I've got a four part free mini series links in bio. I'll give you the link at the end. Let's crack on. So here's the MyFX book uh, stats, 8.65%, 1.59% drawdown. Every day was green, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Uh, IC markets, all fully verified. Got to wonder why more people don't show this stuff. Only takes two minutes to link. And then finally, 21 trades, 255 pips, as mentioned before, with a profit factor. If you want a copy of my trades, drop me a DM, I'll happily send them over. Let's get into landscape mode and do some analysis. Okay, traders, so if you flip into uh, landscape mode, I think it is on your phone and maximize, you'll be able to see this much better. And I can show you a decent analysis of what I was looking at during the week. Um, do let me know if it's come out all right. You know, it's the first time I'm doing this. I'm not Steven Spielberg or anything, so I'm a trader. So, but I am giving it a go, all this uh, editing stuff. So if it comes out well, let me know. Um, so basically, before I do that, I'm going to show you just the charts on MetaTrader 4, what I was looking at. But look, as you all know, I'm an institutional trader. Guys, I'm a professional trader. There's nothing worse uh, than hindsight analysis to me. I have. I just can't stand it. Uh, we see a lot of it on here that it could have done this, could have done that, or I did this, I did that. Here's this screenshot that, listen, you're going to see every single trade that I took, uh, bar none, in a list. So let me just quickly show you so it, I feel better that you actually know that I took these trades. So probably the best way to start, just very quickly, this will take less than a minute, is if we go through the list, so... Um, so I'll show you basically this is all of the trades there. You can see I started with a tiny loss, but that was the basket um, which I built into. So you can see this is all Monday, 6th of April, um, and I had some big trades in the end. They're all actually the same trade. So you can see here selling. Uh, you can pause the video if you want and check it for yourself. But essentially on the 6th, I had a big bunch of sells, right? So this is pound yen. So I was selling the market a lot in that area. So you can see here 134. When I move this to the side, you'll see um, the exact levels. Um, or if you want a list of these trades, I'm happy to send them over to you. Send me a DM. I'll put them on a spreadsheet and I'll send them over to you. No problem. Then you can see on the 7th, which was Tuesday, again, um, a whole bunch of sales in this region. Okay. And then on Wednesday, you can see I had a couple of trades buying pound yen um, in this area. And then finally, on Thursday, you can see I sold a whole lot of pound yen right at the top of the market around 135. So that was my whole week. Um, and just to show you that it is exactly the same as what I just showed you um, in the previous sort of portrait mode there you can see the exact same stats 255.7 pips 21 trades um and what was my win loss ratio so i lost one in every five trades so i got 80 percent um winners but that can vary week by week don't read too much into that sometimes it's 60 percent sometimes it's 50 percent sometimes it's 75 80 percent you know so i'm going to go through all these what all these individual stats in my fx book mean profit factor so you can see here the profit factor was 6.45 sharp ratio we'll go through that expectancy um, if you want to trade like a professional and you know not like an amateur you need to know what those things are but we'll cover that um, I'll, I'll do that in free video series in the future so for now I just want to give you confidence that, as I showed you, these are the trades I took. I circled them so you can see them properly. And it's going to be a really short video. Um, I go through, a, will go through a lot more detail in the future. But for now, um, I just want to give you an idea what happened. So on Monday, what you've got to realize, um, ladies and gentlemen, is that when it comes to trading FX, um, there's a lot of random noise. So... Whilst it's a controversial topic, 
indicators are actually I don't use them I've never seen them used in 16 years of working as you know I've worked in one of the biggest uh, at one of the biggest institutional trading desks in the world trading sterling um, we managed about 10% of the flow there so end of the day I think I'll, I know a thing or two and I never saw indicators used because end of the day you've got to keep it simple there's a lot of random flow coming in people going on holiday people doing this people exchanging money profits for random reasons that in the middle of the market here you're going to be getting a lot of random stuff and if you're using indicators it's going to get you in in this area if you really want to profit long term this is in fx i trade equities i trade oil i don't mind trading these areas but they're institutional markets um and i teach about all that in my uh, courses obviously but when it comes to fx i'm always looking at extremes so i need to identify these extremes and indicators are terrible at identifying extremes because they're very lagging so my point is look i hope you can see now obviously this takes a little bit of time to learn to do but essentially it's pretty straightforward you can see i've identified this range over the last month that we've been in if you looked at my trades i can almost assure you i was selling here selling here buying here buying here and then you can see i sold here on monday tuesday this was a bit more of an advanced trade that's why if you go back and look at my um, stats this is why i like to show you my stats so you can see there's no bs here um, you know at the end of the day i do sometimes take trades that are not within perfect um, structure but that's why i only took two positions there you'll see in the list i took a lot of positions here i was you know willing to load up here as well uh, but over here i only took a little bit of a position because i knew it was more risky because it was a smaller range that i'd identified on the day um, so my point is look i want to keep it really basic i want you to see that um, you don't need indicators to identify these ranges and that's why i have profit factors of six drawdowns very low because at the end of the day if you think about it if the markets moved from here to here you've got a question in a range environment how much more appetite is there really going to be in these sort of areas to sell the risk reward is brilliant um, whereas if you're getting in um, you know to markets very late your risk reward ratios are going to be awful and that's why i think people are very hesitant to show anything but individual trades because when you basket trades over a whole week that drawdown will really come through and that's why no one shows it let's be honest i've never i don't see it i think i'm the only person that shows any audited stats that actually make any sense um because at the end of the day i think when you try to bunch up individual trades together these drawdowns really come through and they're shown that's why it's absolutely crucial be very careful what you um, believe but you know at the end of the day this is your decision to make i hope that with the free education i'm giving you you can see why so i'm going to end the video in just one minute and i just want to show you this final um couple of days so that was monday tuesday and then Wednesday and then Thursday I started to identify um, that we'd basically moved up and we'd started to form value here now if you look at my free training series I talk about this I talk about value um, and it will make more sense but essentially the market is trying to find fair value here it's no different to anything you buy in terms of goods of amazon their algorithms are doing the same they're not using indicators they're determining where's fair value and the market was determining fair value was here and again look i identified an extreme and i sold it and it was simple as that then friday i just used a bit of common sense this is where sometimes again indicators are never going to tell you this an indicator is not going to tell you oh it's a bank holiday no that's where you've got to apply a bit of discretionary sense and that's where we have a big advantage over some of the algorithms is we can think that okay you know what maybe if i look back at every bank holiday the range has been dead maybe it doesn't make sense for me to trade if i look at my stats so for me friday wasn't a good day so it was basically one two three and then four days equals the week um, so those were the stats i showed you so 
hope that was a good sort of basic introduction into how um, professionals look at markets in institutions with keeping it quite basic when it comes to foreign exchange because you've got to give it that little bit of room and you've got to try and identify extremes um, i'm going to talk more about this later in future videos have a great extended weekend and i'll see you next week i'm going to leave the link to the four part free series just after this and it's also in my bio thanks traders